And the last psychological cause why we can fail is lack of motivational exercises, mental jogging. There are new studies with the MRI. Uh, Germans scientists recently um, have been studying the brain of people of 60, uh, between 60 and 90 years old. A and uh, they would take some images of the brain and then they would show them some, say, learn uh, a new language or learn uh, uh, to play an instrument, learn something. And they've been able to see that the brain between 70 and 90, 90 years old still develops, still increase in volume. So, and, and the, the result, the, the consequence of this, the researcher was saying, well, it goes exactly like a muscle, exactly like a muscle. So if you train your mind, I mean, it's like training your body. And how do you train? It's by repetition. In Coca-Cola and other companies, uh, the food industry did understand that very much. A few years ago, in uh, near New York in the United States, they made that experiment. They said, well, we're spending millions of dollars advertising, okay? Maybe if you would stop, we would save money and we'll have more for us. Let's make a, an experiment. They were first on the market in that region. They stopped for three months their advertising. You know what happened? They went seventh. They went down seven. Everybody after three months knew Coca-Cola, but they were not as motivated as before to buy it. And when the Andre started their advertising, they went second to the market, Pepsi-Cola being first. So the, the power of repetition. So if you have achieved your weight, uh, you, and uh, you were happy with yourself and so forth. So raise your hand, those who have reached their desired weight and have gone up afterwards. Yeah, okay. So if you're able to reach your weight, that's great. But the secret is, uh, think about any rugby player here uh, in Ireland or football player, whatever. They're athletes and they, and, and, and they train. If they stop running or training, what will happen with them? Will they stay fit? No, they lose their fitness. So mentally is the same thing. If you stop repeating yourself positive things, positive messages, you're gonna lose your motivation. So we're a new person every day. And without repetition, you can't succeed. I mean, so don't ask a diet. I mean, say, well, I've been on a diet and it's done. No, dieting is just part of the problem. The, 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 uh, the second part is what you do, and you've got to stay motivated by training your mind. Just a few minutes a day will do. Now, understanding success. So we see why we fail. There's some physical causes, psychological causes. Now, what will trigger success? First, dieting. Uh, the, we have, and you'll see in a few minutes, that uh, dieting is the most important part when you want to lose weight. Um, raise your hand, those who say that um, to lose the weight, I need to exercise. Oh, gee, another disappointment. Man, 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 man. Okay, I have people in wheelchairs that have lost one, two, three stones. Uh, so, do you know how much exercise it needs to lose weight? For example, you want to lose one pound a day. One pound a day. That would be great. Those who would like to lose one pound a day. Great. Fabulous. Well, it's possible. It is possible. What time is it now? Uh, 3.30, 20 to 4. Okay, but you have to start right away. You're going to need to run one marathon today. So if every day of the week you want to run one marathon, it's great. Or you may walk 40 kilometers every day, but don't take the energy drink after, or that, or that soft drinks or whatever, or that beer after, because, so it's possible. If you want to lose one pound a week, it wouldn't be too bad. But just by exercising, you need to jog or do a physical activity that would make you out of breath an hour a day seven days a week and don't take a beer after so it's possible so i'm not telling you that not to exercise 
I do exercise regularly, and I wish that you do it. But do it for the right reasons. If you do it because you think uh, that you're going to lose weight, it won't work. You won't be happy. Uh, and it, when, when you train, you're going to build up muscles, and the scale will go up. But you say, gee, I'm trying everything. It doesn't work. It's my metabolic rate. It's my age. It's my menopause. It's a... No. So exercise is great. It's the best pills for nerves, nerve pills to relax. It helps to reduce sugar, cholesterol, triglyceride, hypertension. Fabulous. But, and do it, and, and I encourage you to walk, but don't expect that you're going to see much. So we have to diet, to eat less. So rapidly, which kind of diet should we choose? So this is this little thing which I want you to understand. It's research, summary of 50 years of research. We have been able to find, researchers, that when you lose the weight, the most important nutrient is proteins. Because the proteins is what? Is your, is your skin, muscles, heart. Heart is a muscle. Proteins is involved with the immune system, with the hormones, sexual hormones, and so forth. So, but to stay in balance, what we call nitrogen balance, so you need 0 0.0 gram of protein of per ideal kilogram of body weight. Whatever, I mean, it's about to, for a female, maybe 50 or 60 grams of protein per day, or uh, something like uh, 200 to 300 grams of steak or, uh, per day. That's not that much. So, but when you lose the weight, you reduce the calories, the need in protein to stay in balance increase from 0 0.8 to 1.5, almost double. So, but the interesting part is even when you give the most part, it's not high quantity of protein. It's not, it's just more proteins and probably less when we diet with a protein diet than uh, when we were not dieting and we had a weight problem and we were consuming too many calories. So it's not very, uh, it's a protein diet, but it's not high protein diet. So rapidly, I'm not sure that you see well in there, but they are basically two kinds of program, the medical plan and the nutritional plan. A medical plan is a diet which we call a very low calorie diet. So it's 800 calories or less with less carbs. So, and the body, this is a natural physiological adaptation of the body that has allowed cavemen. Well, I don't remember. I'm old, but not that old. So... <laughs> Cavemen have survived because there are periods where they didn't have food and the periods where they would kill an animal or uh, the good seasons to reap and, and have more fruits and vegetables and so forth. So that they, so what they would do, so when there was abundance, they would overeat and carry their fridge around them. Uh, carry their fridge. Any of you have a refrigerator at home? Those who don't have? Okay, great. But in those days, there was no fridge. Food was not available, so you had to carry it with yourself for famine period. So then those who were the biggest would survive the longest. But nowadays, food is everywhere, and we don't have any famine and so forth. So if we stay overweight, we, we have a pay to price, to pay, a price to pay. So nutritional plan is a more conventional type of diet. Uh, 1,000, 1,200 calories more, and so forth. So basically, the proteins, when you're going to very low calorie diets, you need a little bit more than the nutritional program. Carbohydrates, sugar, so that's the, that's the key. When you go on a very low calorie diet, so you need to stay away from carbs. Carbs, we've seen that it stimulates insulin. We've seen it on the curves at the beginning. So, uh, and we're talking, it reminds me, uh, there's been that trend, I say, the low fat, Thing. So then the food industry is saying, well, okay, they say low fat is better. So they are taking food and taking fat out of it, but they've put carbohydrate, sugar into it. So, and, and that's the, for me the culprit. The culprit is not the fat, it's the sugar because of the insulin reaction that we do. So the less sugar you have in a diet, less hungry you're going to be. Less hungry, more well being. More rapid weight loss, muscle mass, better nitrogen balance. If you compare it to a nutritional plan, yes, you can have a nitrogen balance, but you need more proteins. Uh, 